favorite things that has ever been said about this industry was that um, all ships must rise at the same tide. And so with that, if one of us is doing well, then the other one's gonna do well. Um, if people hear about Yellow House and they get to experience specialty coffee there, they're gonna seek that out somewhere else too. And uh, so we're all kind of playing off of each other in a sense. There would not be local independently owned coffee shops had Starbucks not put that idea out there. I have a special place in my heart for them because that is of course how I was introduced to coffee. There are a lot of Starbuckses that are in proximity, pretty close proximity to other locally owned shops, but it's fine. It's all about supporting community. And Starbucks has its own community. It's much more national, right? And of course, very spread out as far as customers goes, but so are we. Not national, but spread out as far as customers go. And so we have a lot in common, but yeah, no, we wouldn't exist if Starbucks hadn't said, hey, look how cool this is. Look how cool this coffee is. Look what we can do with it. Starbucks internationally brought coffee to the table and to the general public to where you could charge four or five dollars and actually have a sustainable business. And uh, they definitely opened the door uh, to the smaller shops, local shops. I was going to Sugar Browns a lot back in the day. That was pretty much my first introduction into coffee. I've worked at other shops in the past and there are definitely different things that some shops do and what was really cool about Sugar Browns was that they, they really got into that third wave. They would use roasters that were from around this area but not necessarily in Lubbock but maybe another Texas roaster which is something we do here at Gatsby's and it just sort of came to fruition a lot sooner than I had expected. <laughs> it was definitely a whirlwind getting started. Uh, I was working at a shop called The Bistro at the time and the owner was approached by a lady who was selling her shop. The owner of The Bistro wasn't interested but he, through me working there for a while, knew that that's what I was into. So he gave me all the paperwork and I'm telling you, three weeks later, <laughs> we were in here painting. It was, it was definitely quick. We're actually able to do the same thing with expression with art and music, um, hosting live shows, and bringing in people that are passionate about other crafts as well. Atmosphere, that's what I wanted. And the art, of course, you know, we support local artists and that's another thing. So on the walls, you have art that is done from young artists here in town. And so you feel like a part of the community. And so that's why I fell in love with this particular location is because it is just so cozy. <laughs> I mean, even the courtyard out here, it's a small area, but it's grass, it's trees, it's water, fountains, you know, everything, it just feels, it almost feels like you're not in Lubbock. So yes, atmosphere was definitely one of the, the very first things that I wanted to nail down. And I, I feel like we've definitely accomplished that. We do do live music on the weekends, you know, coffee and the art culture, it happens, you know, you have local artists that are also hanging out at coffee shops, you know, doing their thing. And so, yeah, just kind of evolved to like, well, why don't you play this acoustic set in our coffee house? Why not? And so we do that. Um, we do acoustic music, we do full band music. We also had a poetry night just recently. So um, if you're into poetry, if you're into creative writing, we have a monthly uh, stray dog reading series that's put on by the Texas Tech Creative Writing Department and they do their thing and we've got our bar open for that. And so it's students and also alumni that have maybe been published. We've done book signings up here. If you're into literature, yeah, things to expect are just feeling comfortable and also being exposed to what Lubbock has to offer as far as art is concerned in the very general sense. You know how you're not allowed to talk about religion and politics at a dinner table? That's when you can do it, uh, is at a coffee shop. Um, it's perfect for that. Um, in a uh, non-combative way, people will just talk and really get to know each other, especially in this area because we have the uh, that whole uh, southern vibe where uh, we can be really friendly towards each other. So if you come to a coffee shop and you sit down, the chances of you making uh, uh, a friend is incredible. Our customer base ranges from students to professors to doctors to businessmen. Um, professional women, you've got the whole gambit of people. And that's the great thing about a coffee house is that everybody loves coffee. Because of that, 
you get everybody in and people start talking, ideas start going, you know, coffee's got caffeine in it. Uh, I mean, I feel like, especially like in a town like Lubbock, I mean, you're creating a community, you're bringing people together um, and doing that with a good cup of coffee. It's just a neat uh, thing to be a part of and getting to know different people and, and people's lives and it creates community within small towns. I mean, it becomes kind of like the communication hub. I was reading an article online. There was a write-up, a description of the coffee houses in London in 1675. And it's this huge description and what stood out to me the most was just that was a place where your title didn't matter, your position in society didn't matter. You were there to discuss ideas. And so you had a lot of scientists, a lot of politicians, um, just higher members of society kind of talking with maybe lower members of society and it not being a problem. You know, nobody judged anybody, they're just there to talk about ideas. And so that's, that's a major part of coffee houses. Um, that has stayed the same, but of course, as more issues, different issues have arisen politically, educationally, whatever the case may be, um, you will still always have people offering forth their opinion and you'll still have discussions about it. Basically, as long as there's been a thirst for knowledge or a curiosity, you've had coffee houses. Thank you.